Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm going to go over the new ITDR admin in our our WordPress blog backend. So, the first thing you're going to do is on the left here, you're going to find the ITDR admin, and if you click it, it's going to be oriented differently for those of you that are used to our blogs. Uh, we created this new feature; it's a preview window, and so everything you're doing on the left here. Uh, is going to change everything on the right and you can see right now what I have is I have under this tab I have the design tab selected under this drop down and I'm not going to uh, go over this design tab in in detail because we we have different settings for each template and you'll find different videos on different templates and different instructions uh, but just to kind of give you a quick overview you can change colors in here um, you can upload your logo you have the ability to control your fonts and your backgrounds um, and so every every design tab is going to be different. So I'm going to skip this and I'm going to kind of go back to the beginning and I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that are throughout all of our IT, ITDR admins. So uh, I'm going to click on the header images and the header images is normally at the at the top of the blog. If it's a regular blog, it's at the top of the blog. Um, and if it's a blog site, it'd normally be located on your homepage. So this is where you would upload images just by clicking the upload button. You uh, click add, uh, add files from your computer and when they all load here you click done. Uh, you can sort them through this easy drag and drop sorter and then you can also um, <clears throat> see everything change over here when you save it. So this is a way to add the images. To change the settings of your header, you're going to go to header settings and you're going to be able to control things like use the header border. So I'm using the Lyra template and it has the options to turn this border on and off. Um, you can use the header on all pages so you can turn that true or false and then you can change the aspect ratio of this image right here. So if you don't want it to be formatted like this, you want it a little bit taller or a little bit thinner, uh, you can come in here and do that. You can also change the animation speed and the advanced speed. So this determines how long the image is up. Right now it's up for about four seconds and it transition takes about one second. So you could just use this easy slider if you like or you can type in the number or move it up and down with the arrows and you can change that um, as you see fit. And then at the bottom you have options like use header arrows. So for this template you have the option to turn these on or off. So if I were to mark that to false and click save you'll see these header arrows when it refreshes you'll see them go away. And if I could turn them back on and click save and you'll see them come back. So now let's go ahead and move on to under construction. So our under construction tab allows you to have a construction page uh, that allows you to set up your blog in where nobody can see it, uh, but allows you to display a little message. So you can click true to have the under construction page. You can add a title and you can add text and it'll display an under construction page so you don't have to worry about that. And then uh, the next item down is the welcome. Uh, now, the welcome is located on uh, in, for different templates in different places. On this particular blog, it's right here. And so you can type in the text here that will populate here. And then uh, you can decide to use the welcome on all pages, true or false. If you go to the next one, which is design, we're going to skip it. We're going to go right to setup. <clears throat> and under setup, um, you have the ability to add a favicon, which is that little icon that appears next to the address in the browser. Uh, you have the touch icon which would appear on your iPad if, if you needed. Um, you have the browser title separator. It's just a, um, a line that will separate the title of the blog from whatever page you're on. You can just leave that how it is. Um, you can use the footer search field so you can turn the search on in the footer in this particular template. Uh, and then you have the footer uh, copyright. So this is a great place to put like 2013 or 2014 copyright and the name of your company. Um, and then you have your Google Analytics code which you can paste in here and it looks a little something like this. So when you go to your Google Analytics you just copy and drop it right in there. Uh, you'll also find the ability to use things like the sidebar, mark it true or false, um, to use archived comment features. If, you, um, if you've been using your blog and you now upgrade to one of our templates and you, we now have the ability to have Facebook comments, you might want to use the archived comments so that people can see some of your older comments. And then um, if we go over to the contact tab, uh, you're going to see that we have uh, use contact uh, sidebar and you can put all of this information in there. You can also put the uh, Google Maps if you wanted to. So on the contact page you could have that Google Maps and if you were to just go to Google Maps and you were to type in your address and you click on the little link here that iframe information is going to be this right here. You just copy this and paste it in this area. 
<clears throat> and uh, that map will appear on on that uh, contact page. The next tab is the social media tab and you're going to be able to do all your social media stuff so use Facebook comments true or false uh, email me when somebody makes a Facebook comment um, you can fill out all this stuff all this stuff right here like the Facebook links and stuff uh, on the Lyra site uh, they're all located down here so the ones that you populate will appear the ones that you don't populate won't appear and then um, the last section here are all like your like buttons and things like that so you can you can have those and then the last tab in here is the language tab so basically everything that can be visible you can change what it says um, so for instance instead of comments if you wanted to write you know see the comments or something like that you can come in here and change that so we created a language file so you can modify that as you see fit as well so that's the ITDR admin it's it's got this great new feature with a preview panel that I think you're really gonna like and uh, I hope that was informative and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us through support.intothedarkroom.com thanks so much